Hey guys, John Martinez here with the REI Sales Academy and I'm checking out our Facebook group right now uh, by the same name. And there was something in here someone asked, so I thought I'd just make a video about it and address it. So a gentleman asked, hey, I need your help. My team keeps sending out contracts and we can't seem to get the sellers to sign them and uh, get them back to us. We've given them the price. We've gone through all the possible deal killers. Uh, we then have our reps say, hey, if I can get you the price you're asking, and uh, is there anything that will keep you from signing the contract today and moving forward? The sellers keep saying nothing I'll sign today if I get my price, but they're not selling back the, the contract. So let's, let's figure this thing out. So this is gonna be for anyone who's sending out contracts and, and basically not getting them back and not knowing what's going on. Well, let's look at the obvious stuff. So you send out a contract, they say I'll sign it, but they don't sign it and they don't send it back. So that means there's something going through their mind, something going through their head, and you don't know what it is, right? Because that's what we want to figure out. That's basically what he's asking is, how do I figure out what we're missing? What, what do I need to do? What do we need to address? Is there a fear? Is there a concern? Was that not really their price? Did we move on the price too fast? And now uh, maybe they think they could get more? Well, the, the answer is we don't know. That information is in their head. And so it's not really an issue of why aren't they sending out the contracts? What we really have here is an issue of why aren't they telling me what's on their mind? Does that make sense? That's what we need to figure out. Once we know what's on their mind, what's keeping them from signing the contract, we can address it and move on. So I'd like to shift the conversation to how do we figure out what's on their mind? Well, let's first talk about why they wouldn't tell you what's on their mind. They simply don't feel comfortable, right? Think about it. It's a sales situation for one reason or another. They don't feel comfortable saying uh, what's on their mind. They don't feel safe. They might feel like they'll be pushed into something. They might feel like you'll just try to overcome an objection. They might not be ready. For whatever reason, they are uncomfortable telling you the truth. So essentially they lied to you and said, hey, I'm ready to go to get you off their back. And then they went back to, to do whatever they want to do. So why is it that salespeople make, make sellers uncomfortable? Well, usually it's because they're, they're pushing too hard. Like um, if we take this, this charger on the counter here, I'll use this as an example. So let's pretend this is me, I'm the sales guy. And let's pretend over here is the home seller. So usually when sellers lie to you or they mislead you, it's because you're putting too much pressure on them. Let's say that this over here is a yes, right? We're trying to get the seller to the yes. We're trying to get them to sign the contract. Well, if you put too much pressure on them, it's the exact same as doing this. I'm gonna push you, push you, push you, push you, push you towards the yes. W what's happening here? Where we're complicating this thing, the sale, where we're making a knock, we're making a mess, we're jumbling everything up. And what's happening to the seller? The seller's not actually moving. So what do top salespeople do? What do the home buyers who buy more homes than anyone do, right? We wanna get this person over there. So I'm gonna actually use my lovely camera woman, Amanda. Amanda, will you grab the end of this? Okay, so Amanda's grabbing the end of this. Now we haven't rehearsed this, just hold on to it. Okay. We haven't rehearsed this or anything, but, but let me show you something. I started gently tugging on this and she, I'm feeling a resistance. She's starting to pull back. Oh, she just broke it now. <laughs> So what happens is this, it, this is the same thing in sales. The best salespeople kind of tug the seller towards a no, and they let the sales, per, or they let the, uh, they, they, they push themselves towards the yes. So again, if you want to like, see, I can't even get her to let go of this now. So if you want to let go of it now, here's how we do this in real life. So number one, just the concept, right? If you're pushing too hard towards the yes, saying anything like, hey, what do, you know, what do we have to do? If, if we do X, Y, and Z, will you sign today? That's pressure. And this is what's happening. We're putting pressure on them, but they're not moving anywhere, right? What we want to do is we actually want to tug them towards the no, so they tug back and close the deal. So I'm just going to use that one line. Let me look it up again. I think what he said was, hey, here's what my sales reps are saying. If we can get you the price you're asking, what would keep you from signing the contract today and moving forward? So that's pushing. Let me show you how, how, we, how we do it, how we train people to do it. We pull back instead. We would say something to the effect of, hey, listen, Bob, I'm guessing even if we are able to get you the price that you wanted today, you're probably not gonna be ready to, to sign any type of agreement because there's probably people you wanna talk to, things you gotta figure out, things you need to work, work, work through. Is that safe to say? 
So what do we do right there? We pull back towards the no, and we now gave Bob permission to tell us everything that's on his mind, everything that would keep this deal from going forward. So that's the difference between tugging gently towards a no, which is what we teach people to do instead of pushing for a yes. Remember, pushing complicates things, it gets your seller nowhere, but when we pull, they start pulling back and tugging themselves towards a yes. So again, instead of saying, hey, if we get you the price you're looking for, will you sign today? That's pressure, that's pushing. We pull back gently, give them permission to share everything that's gonna keep this deal from closing. Hey, listen, I'm guessing even if I was able to give you the price today, there's probably a few things you need to think about, maybe some people you need to talk to, uh, probably some stuff that's on your mind that you're gonna have to figure out before you can sign. So I'm guessing even if I give you the price you want or something even better if I'm able to, there is no way in this world you're gonna be able to uh, agree today. Is that safe to say? So that's how we deal with that. If you're having sellers go dark on you, mislead you in any way, uh, ask for contracts or say they're doing business and they're not doing business, it means you're putting on too much pressure. Instead of pushing, we need to tug back a little bit and, and create that environment where sellers feel like they can be open and honest with you. And once they are, you now have the data, you have the information, you know what's going on and you can do something about it. So if you like this video and uh, you think there's anyone else who could use the information, please share it with them. If you wanna hear more about what we do, check out midwestrev.com. And there's lots of free resources and training and things like that there for you. See you later.